right. This is a Yama video. I'm going to tell you about this pistol. I've had it for about 11 years. Maybe 12. I bought this before I got sober. It's a Friday Day 1 2004. Um, I remember going to the gun show. I used to have a really nice Colt 1911 A A1. Yeah. <coughs> uh, that got disappeared. It's a whole other story. It got lost. Um, not confiscated, it just got lost. Alright, so I went to the gun show. I was looking around. I didn't want to spend too much money, you know. Should have spent the extra 150 for a nice other Colt that I'd seen there. But I saw this Yama. Back then I thought it was pronounced Llama, like the animal, but no, it's Yama. So it's a I spent $250 for it. Uh, I remember asking the fellow at the counter, are these any good? And he said, yeah, as long as you don't put anything in the chamber. Haha. <laughs> but needless to say, um, I've never fired it. But uh, the markings on it. I'll write that down in the video description. I've um, actually learned how to, through watching 1911 videos, how to take this completely apart and I cleaned everything and put it all back together again, but that was probably four or five years ago. Four years ago, maybe. Uh, did a little, I fucked that up, but I didn't know what I was doing at the time. But I'm taking this thing completely apart. Um, like I said, I've never fired it. The writing on it, let's see what this say. Gabi Londo Isia Victoria Espana. Uh, RSA Enterprises Incorporated, Ocean, New Jersey, made in Spain. Uh, everything works. But, like I said, I've never fired it. The magazine I have for it, I'm just putting, I've got round nose in it. But, uh, the Novak, made in Italy. Well, the reason I'm doing this video is because I, I really don't see too many Yama videos. Max 1 on YouTube. Is this a Max 1? Yeah, Yama Max 1 45C slash F. I don't know what the C slash F stands for. But 250 bucks. But I've never fired it. I'm reiterating that. Maybe we won't ever. Uh, let's see. It's not the best made. It's got some play in it. The slide is. It's tight. I mean, it's the spring is tight. Sear, sear works fine. You know. But I think I'll keep it just because of what it is. And like I said, I bought this about 11 years ago, maybe 12. I'm not really sure. 250 bucks. I'd like to go fire it one day. Just hopefully it'll hold together. But I think I think it would. But it's nice to see a little gas port up top. This camera will focus. It's right there. 
the gas fuel port. It's not an Allen wrench, it's a port. It's not an Allen screw. And it's got some markings, like right there. And flashlight let's see got one around here somewhere oh well never mind that that's about that at least whoa that's what happens. Set it down and it Yeah, okay. Hmm. Touchy little thing. Alright, you know I'm a Max Max One, made in Spain. It's old. Not that old. Oh, I don't know exactly how old it is. Well, serial numbers. Let's see. <laughs> 